What's up guys? In this video, we're going to talk about coordinate systems in this ggplot2 library. So coordinate systems are the most complicated part of the ggplot2 library and the default coordinate system that we use when making visualizations with the ggplot2 library is the Cartesian coordinate system where the x and y positions act independently. So there's a number of other coordinate systems that are occasionally helpful. And uh, let's just get off to an example over here where I have my diamonds data set, and I have a bar chart uh, plotting the frequency of uh, various cut qualities. So we see over here that we have more higher quality cut diamonds than we do have lower quality cut diamonds. And this is a great visualization. And I have a vertical bar chart for this. But what if I want a horizontal bar chart? I can go and do this by simply adding uh, the chord flip function to my visualization. So what happens over here is we flip the coordinates, right? So it's a, a quite an intuitive function that we can just add on to our plot without having to change any, uh, any of the aesthetics. Now, if I want to go and get a different chart, like a coxcomb chart, and if you don't know what a coxcomb chart is, I'm going to go and post a description uh, in the video below so you can learn more about it we're going to have to go and change our data and our coordinate systems into terms of polar coordinates. So we can go and do that quite simply by going and just changing uh, the argument from being a chord flip to chord polar. So running that, we have a coxcomb chart plotting the frequency of various quality diamonds. There's also another coordinate system when dealing with map data. And unfortunately, the maps package doesn't have a lot of data on various maps. So this is more for uh, proof of concept as opposed to actually being able to go and implement this. So if you want to go and find uh, other map data, you're probably going to have to go and use uh, a different package. So if I'm interested in plotting the map of Italy, I have a map of Italy, but the scale seems a little bit off. It's a little bit on the wider side. And if I want to go and get the correct aspect ratio to this, all I need to do is add to our ggplot visualization is chord quick map. And after running that code, we have a map of Italy that is more to scale. So. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.